Greetings viewers, today I'm going to retest the performance of the Corsair MP600 1TB NVMe2 drives that I installed in this desktop computer 8 months ago and that I've been using since. To compare the drive's current performance against when I first installed them as there is some much discussion online that these drives lose a lot of their performance over time. So I'm going to do the same test I did 8 months ago to compare the degree to which the drive's performance has degraded over a relatively short period of time. And as you can see from the original results 8 months ago, the MP600 are very fast drives which is why I bought a pair. You know they're not cheap drives but the performance justify the expense so let's run the same tests again and see what they reveal some eight months on okay let's do crystal disk info first okay this is crystal disk info we can see drive there a lot you can see the two mp601 terabyte there's the use uh, 57 342 hours first test now it's 6300 hours yeah so that's eight months later okay that's crystal disk info put it there now let's open up crystal disk mark and run the first test c drive c drive it was 12 percent full then now it's 26 percent one gigabyte one gigabyte five runs what results are we going to get let's run it there we go same exactly the same program version everything's the same 801 801 let's run it and see how the benchmark test compares some eight months on off it goes let it run okay so that's all the read test completed and how do they compare against that of eight months ago well the sequential reads aren't too bad like this is a 99 percent this is a 93% that's not too bad what about random that is pretty poor 33% that is garbage this is read remember not write 33% and this one 4k random is about 79% Random 4K Q3 T2 that's 33%. Okay, so it's, uh, most of the files are going to be random. So that is pretty poor performance eight months on. Like I say, the drive's hardly full out, 75% empty, and that's with over provisioning. That is pretty poor performance. So I'm going to let the write test finish so I can evaluate that. Okay, so that's all of the write tests completed, and I, that is shocking. Look at the difference. I do have to tell you the percentages. They're all less than 50%, well less. Top one, these are sequential right. 36%, 42%, random, 42%, 50%. The Corsair MP600 is garbage. What a con. So, 
the initial benchmarks when they get them brand new are fantastic and but within eight months performance on read is about 80 percent on write it's about 40 percent that is garbage what's it going to be another eight months another 40 percent degraded or what it's still you know compared to an SATA SSD still pretty good but you paid for it like I paid about 180 pound per one terabyte drive I'm not I wasn't expecting it to drop to 40% it's not like it's full of anything so do leave a comment below what you think about these results you know MP600 where uh, this is very disappointing they're garbage it feels like you're being conned like you get the drive you test it and you go wow that is fantastic then eight months later you retest it and you find it's garbage compared to the original results it's like a, it's like it's morphed into a completely different cheap old drive you know this is not 180 pound this is more like 80 pound worth drive obviously it's better than SATA but you didn't pay for a SATA you paid for NVMe 2 PCIe 4 what a con Corsair you are you know you buy it based on the brand but for instance your uh, water cooler hardware is good but the software IQ is garbage now your MP600 drives are garbage as well they don't perform look how much loss the write is 40% read is yeah that's what did I get uh, yeah no oh, this is 33% look so even your reads aren't that good this is 80% the random 80% and 30% that is pretty bad no, do leave a comment below like I said it's the exact same system nothing else has changed it's eight months on the performance of this drive has degraded a lot a lot especially writes 40 percent well I'm just thinking oh, eight months time this is going to be under a thousand and this is going to be under 100 that's going to be under 80 you know, look it was 245 it's halved it's let more than halved it's going to be half again it's going to half again 750 1170 60 even what's wrong with these drives why is it why is the performance drop so much you don't give me garbage that the drives full oh it's 26% full and it was 12% when I tested it so you mean I mean don't tell me that you're gonna have to the drive has to be completely empty to get these sort of scores that was garbage anyway let's run a Atto disk mark as well might as well see what it is it's not gonna be anywhere near these five megabits per second it's not gonna get that I might as well run that as well at our disk benchmark okay so now let's run that to this but I've got it set right 512 512 one gigabyte file so one gigabyte IO IO depth 4 C C so let's run it and see how it compares well we missed out the bottom bit but let's see how it compares anyway 512 right was 44 to 46 20 half there you go half read right half one kilobyte again half 44 to 86 read right comparable 2k half again <laughs> no it's not 
showing me anything different that uh, this didn't. Performance of the Corsair MP600 halves. No, say so you bought buy a drive now. Benchmark in six months' time, its performance will be half or worse. Worse than half. Eight kilobytes, seven thirty, three fifty-five, thirty-two, seven hundred is one point five gigabyte. What's right? Seven and six fifty. It's even less than half. No, the pff, why is the read drive? Uh, that's right and read. Why is the read dropping? I'm not. What's the, what is the problem with these bloody drives? Why is the read dropped? 128 kilobyte it was 3.6 gigabytes now it's 2 for a read and it's 1.6 for write Blimey, now look, that's nearly 4 there ok at 512 kilobyte we're getting up to where it was originally yeah 523 3.2 3 oh it's dropped so large files. From what I can see large files are de degradation isn't that bad. Well, it's comparable, but the small files very shocking. And most of your computer's files will be small. You're not going to get all this, uh, the yeah this, the depth. This is garbage. Look, this is comparable. Uh, 12 megabytes. 3.9. 3 3.7. 5.2. 4.8. <sighs> and it's not a case of that I've used up all of the drive's life. Which I haven't, look. 92% so it's got plenty of life left percent used 8% available free threshold is 5 what was available free threshold then 5 yeah so it's not percent used now I only used 8% of the drive's life the performance is now garbage. So think twice before buying an MP600. The reason being because you're overpaying for, you're basically paying over the odds for initial benchmarks. That within, that in about six months time will be about half the performance. Your drive is going to lose half its performance. It's worse for right slightly better for read but it is garbage look right here look 64 1.9 64 2.8 yeah and right 3.7 right 1.6 shocking you feel like you're being conned. Corsair, you con me. You should give me some money back. I paid for this. And eight months on, I'm getting this. It's a completely different drive. Look. Completely different performance. Well, what's it going to be like in another eight months' time? Eh? You feel like you're being conned. Obviously even here it's still a fast drive but you paid well, I paid for this I didn't pay for this if I wanted to pay for this I would have I would have got a cheaper Samsung drive you know probably near half the price so I paid for this 
and I'm getting PCIe 3 pay for PCIe 4 I'm getting PCIe 3 you know, only for the <laughs> it's like you are being conned the course MP600 gives you a great benchmark when you first install it you go whoa this is fantastic and then you get on with your system you use it but now eight months on you find out the truth that you're being conned blooming scam being scammed oh well, what else do you call it yeah you expect some degradation over time but not to the tune of 60 percent you know it's hard it's not, it's not as though the drives you know come end of its life only used eight percent of its life and it's still empty you know the drive is still empty only 26 percent full verse 12 well con Corsair the brand that does not live up to expectations probably why its stock price is blooming trading down in a massive bear market because their products are just not up to scratch they don't you don't get what you pay for